Hello beautifuls, my name is Epic Treasure and this video tutorial today is an absolutely stunning stone and wooden cottage in the snow. Not only that, it is in the most prime location for pure quartz nodes and the most stunning views beyond. If you like what you see, come like, subscribe, you know what to do. So let us have a look at the coordinates to start with which is at minus 210 to 47, just east of the pristine snowfield. This tutorial is going to start from scratch, from the ground up, and then after the base building, I'll continue on with the decorations and lead you through that. But this one's a very easy build. I consider it a beginner's build. And so let us begin. But we're going to build a four by four stone foundation and this build is going to be half stone, half wood. It's that sort of quaint little look. Um, I'm going to make it absolutely beautiful on the inside and outside. So, oh, look at that. Uh, so it'll be totally complete for you. That's why I picked this spot. So definitely, oh, feel free to share your, your coordinates if you have a nice spot for quartz in the snow or just a nice snow area. So let us begin. We're going to go... Uh, and get our stone foundation and make sure that the way this goes, you know I like the blocks to be horizontal. We want it to face that view, right? So we want to go four by four. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Then so we're going to run it backwards. So that's one, two, three, four. Four and across. One, two. Three, four. And again. One, two, three, and then four. And then we're going to fill in the rest. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to do the, the walls. And you know that I very much love the windows. So we'll keep them. We're going to probably remove one or two because we want to put a fireplace in. Um, so we're going to run this from the... We're going to give one square space at the front for that porch area. And we're just going to run them around the perimeter. So all along the edge, along the edge, along the edge. Again, again, and again, and around the corner and stop. Here we're going to put a stone door then we're going to continue with our window. So I'm going to fly above it in a second so you can see what it looks like. This is an important part because we're going to recess this bit and then we're going to put a stone door here. All right let us fly above the build and that's what it looks like. So again, four by four, um, the whole left side of the perimeter is covered with walls and the front has one square depth around the outside for the porch area. So the next part we're going to do now is we're going to build the pitched roof and the pitched roof is going to run to the front. So we're going to have the pitch of the roof that runs from here to up here. So we already know. Now this is just temporary because we need to build the pitch part. We already know that it's going to be too high there. And we need it to be too high so that pitched roof can come down. Rot rotate, rotate, click it. So if you're on Xbox, it's just gonna be RB, RB. Right, that's what that looks like. The sound of this place is absolutely stunning. So as you know, we need the next pitched part to go even higher. So it needs to be three high. So we just go one, two, three. And that third one is going to join the second one. Okay, and then we're going to, all right, we're going to get rid of all of the structure after we connect everything. So again, we want to get the uh, wooden slanted roof and connect that up the top, yep. like so. OK, 
Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have a middle pitch that will join this one here. So here we go, stone wall thing there and up to the top again and the wooden slanted roof up again from the top. Yep. That. Okay. And then this bit, we're going to have a window going from the roof to the front of the house. So let's just quickly have a look at what it looks like from the front. That's what it should look like. So we're going to just fill these in with the wooden triangles. So remember, just make sure it sits on the joining part. It'll be red sometimes. Just rotate it with your RB to make it click in. This is, you know, very virtually impossible to do with stairs. If you're trying to do the triangle with the stairs, it likely won't work at the moment. Um, but it'll eventually, I'll eventually fix it, fingers crossed, and then just rotate. But uh, when it comes to the roof, it's a different story. So with this part, we're going to put another window in, but we're going to make it a wooden one this time, like that. Because remember, half this place is wood and half this place is stone. So at the top, there we go, like so. Done. Okay, we're looking good. So we're going to go in here and we're going to do the same. So we're going to go three high. One, two, three. And then we're going to build it down again. It's about to see yep. with that. So we're going to do the wooden slanted roof again. From the third to the second one. And the second one to the front of the house. There we go. Okay. So again, we're going to put the wooden window in just here next to us. Just remember your crosshairs all the time. That's exactly how you know um, that it will click on properly. Like if we're not using our crosshairs properly, we won't be able to see it click in. We put those crosshairs where it's joining. It's a lifesaver. So there we go. So let's make sure that everything's connected in the middle. So we have the triangle, we've got the window. We're going to close this next bit in here. Whoopsie, there we go. So we have all that side done. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just build one more up on the back wall. It's going to depend on what you want there. You could build windows across, which is probably going to be likely, but we'll change that as we go. But right now we just want to connect those sloped roof parts. So again, all these ones here. Always do like to have the windows at the side though. We're going to end up having a loft, etc. for it. And so that third one is always going to run down to the second lower one. So I'll do the same with over here. Like that. So up we go again. Wooden sloped roof. Okay there, rotate there, again here, and then we're going to need another wall down there to close that bit off. We don't need to have a sloped part for this one, we actually want to have a wooden wall there, right there like that, and then we're going to close that in with a cap on the top of it. The wooden roof, yeah, like that. Unless you want to be pedantic like me. And be pedantic like me and have the wood grain running the right way. Alright, so that's that part. We're going to fill it in with the triangle again. Like that. Then we're going to go around... The other side and we're going to fill that triangle in there. So remember the secret is always the crosshairs. Just make sure the crosshairs are on the joining part. 
So now, let us actually have another little quick look. Check in. This is what your little log cabin looks like. And it's got so much amazing work to have done to it too. So definitely stay, away, stay around to the end of it. And don't forget to check the amazing other builds such as the castle, the castle 2.0 and the Mad Max uh, dystopian build and every other one that, um, that comes along too. Thank you for liking and subscribing if you can. So now we can clear all of the inside of this building because all of the roof and all of the walls are connected safely and securely so we can break all of this and nothing will fall down it's really all about what you build first so at this point we have a totally open and clear roof section that we can do absolutely anything to and the question is you know what kind of view do you want out here we have a node of ore, so this could be a very good location, for example, to have a fireplace, uh, since you can't see much from it. So we're going to fully decorate this and make it look amazing. So this is what the front of it looks like. Half wood, half stone, it looks beautiful. Uh, we're going to run some, uh, some little fires around it too. Um, but that is basically the base build of it anyway it's a beautiful log and wood cabin in the snow with the most amazingly beautiful views out there and I just love how everything is just so blue and illuminated in the background too so we're going to have fields and things like that that we can fit in if you're not happy with where your pal box is you can simply just move it uh, don't be afraid to get rid of your pal box it will just take your pals off the base and put them back in your you know, invisible pal bag. And then you put your base down again, nothing lost, no building you know, damaged because of that. And at this point anyway, I've never seen that happen. And then you just move it to location of your choice. But it's very easy to see in the snow. You can see the whole perimeter quite easily there. So this one kind of runs off the edge. And we don't really need to use that, but you know, we could move it a little bit more inside, but this honestly is just a base purely for that um, those nodes of quartz, which you will find imperative later on in the game. So now we're on to decorating, and it really depends on what things you've unlocked in your arsenal. So having a look at a few different hints and tips that people have shared across the board, uh, people have shared using the flame cauldron for example for that fire effect it's really lovely one for the castle another really nice one is the flower bed but really you have to look at the environment that you're in you know um, do those things suit it do those things visually suit it I'm I know that these stump and the axe do so we'll consider putting that um, in the environment um, when we have a look at the furniture, you know, what furniture would belong in this place? Well, obviously, we would go for these more sort of rustic type things. Some people have been using the wooden benches as barriers also when it comes to decking, um, which is an interesting idea. But for, you know, for an outdoor setting, one would have, say, for example, the round table. Um, you wouldn't have too many plants outside because it is quite cold. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't go full tropical with that. But it's going to be, you know, since it is a log cabin in the snow, it's going to be quite rustic uh, anyway. So let's have a look at how we're going to build inside of this log cabin and how we're going to run the roof section. So when it comes to roofing in small quarters, we can never grab the stairs and just build straight up to there because obviously it goes straight into a wall. We basically have to make things wrap around. Um, and that's just how the builds are um, when we don't have uh, ladders in this game, you know. So that's the sort of fiddly point and the fiddly part of it. So the stairs can run here, for example, because it's going to run onto a flat landing, which is important. The only way to really run this is on this square here because this square 
is not infiltrating any other space. That's what we're going to do. It's really depend on what way you want the roof to go. So for me, I want to have uh, the wooden wall. We could have the um, well, this one here. It doesn't really matter. We're going to put the wooden stairs to go up to that, like that. Then we're going to go up here. And we're going to put the wooden roof on. Running horizontal again with the rest of the wood. And again here. Right. Uh, and then you could, you could just have that only if you wanted to. You could just have simply that and put your bed up there, for example. It doesn't have to be very fancy at all. You know, that's quite sweet. We can get rid of this under the stairs thing. And we could put storage under there. But, like I said, you could put, um, you could run this, let's just do it for fun. You might find it quite claustrophobic to run it out like this, you know. Then we've got these sort of multi-levels where you can see out the front and you can see out the side, you know. And then and you have this lovely little loft area. It depends on how you feel about walking into it like that. You can see the stairs. You can't really see the roof too much. But it is still closed in to some degree. And some people might not like that. So we'll just pretend that we don't like that. And we'll pretend we'll walk in, role play. That, you know, that it's totally breathable. It's up to you. So it really depends on what you want to have in there. And that's that section. So the question is, you know, where are we going to put the table and chairs, etc. I think this part is really lovely. So I think I'd like to have it there. I'm not really convinced that I would want the bigger... I mean, I do always love the bigger tables, uh, like this big square table, which we need berries for. Um, and the round tables, I, I don't know, I like the round tables for outside. Uh, the, the little wooden stools are nice to have and, you know, all these little bits and pieces. I wouldn't go for any of these antique... Uh, features definitely go for the rug um, so we'll we'll dress this up we're not going to go for any of the antique stuff over there either so let us decorate now having a look at all of the different decorations that I have in here we have the wooden benches over in the furniture section so I place them just one near the front door with the pot plants on it. You might get lucky like I did and be able to stack the plants on. It's very hard to get those pot plants on the, the benches to start with, but we got lucky. Uh, another one there and then the pot plants there. There's other pot plants you can get, but they, I didn't think they really suited the um, aesthetic of this uh, this build at all, like this house plant. I didn't think that suited at all. And then we've got another bench there, some of the smaller ivy. Now they've changed this, now they've updated this on both Steam and on Xbox, so when you do break the walls, the ivy should actually disappear and not stay stuck, suspended in the sky. So they've fixed that. Uh, we've got the beautiful round table and chairs outside. That's a really nice one for role-playing of the view. Take a screenshot of that while we're here. And then there's strategically placed torches around the outside, preferably not right next to the door, just because of the confusion that can happen when you try and interact with the door or interact with the torch and it opens the door instead. Uh, there's a lovely little brazier there. Um, that just stays lit. That's why I have that. There's no other reason why I particularly have that there because this is uh, a base. This is a third base, which is specifically for um, mining those uh, beautiful quartz nodes um, so actually we'll go through the front door to make it a little bit more role play uh, another yeah torch there a few more pot plants there and there opening the door we have the staircase this is literally the only place you can really build the staircase with this build um, just because it's quite small then we've got the little uh, table and chairs the rectangular tables and chairs with the view out beyond we have the old decorative stove there some storage under the stairs you could put whatever you like over there and then the beautiful uh, clawfoot bath there and I like the fact that the clawfoot bath has a curtain on it so it adds to this you know lovely effect that you don't usually see in this build there's no sort of other curtains besides the red ones that you can get at the moment uh, so that's a nice little feature to put up I think 
I've got the um, advanced workbench there, a little cupboard up there, the repair there, and then the clock up there, and then the smaller rug down here because the large one won't fit there. Uh, but the red one will. But I think I thought the red one was a little bit of overkill, visually overkill. Um, the fireplace, a few more pot plants. The little view out into the white uh, snow beyond. And up the stairs, we have just one little pet bed and then the main bed here. And just another overhead cupboard. Just for no, not really any useful practical purpose, but just for, uh, you know, that change and, and different depth textures and things like that so that is inside and this is how it's going to look when you're done so take note of all that you know with the mirror there I like to put that there just for a little bit of change of scenery uh, a little bit of a strange thing to have there but I like it and then around the base you know the pal box I put over here you can move it anywhere you want but I think it's in a prime location um, we have some great access out the back here with the quarry and we don't need all that area there, but we've got a, a node behind it. So uh, I think this is really well placed. Um, and let's just have a quick look at the view before we go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, you know, all that sort of stuff. I appreciate the amazing support. Um, don't forget to check out the amazing castle build. There's been castle build 1.0 and 2.0. Um, it's currently in the works as I'm recording this. So by the time you see that, this... That might already be done, or if you're an early bird, stay tuned for that because it's absolutely incredible. Uh, so let's have a little flyover of this one. <laughs> of our absolutely stunning stone and wooden cottage in the snow. I love and leave you. Have an amazing day or night. Till next time, happy adventures.